<laughs> Welcome back, it's cold today. Right, so what are we gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna tell you a nice story, but I wanna tell you a joke first of all, which is a right funny joke. It's this old couple, right? Forget about dogs. This old couple's in a, in a, a library. It's their library, in a library. And um, the old boy there sitting there and he smiles. He, he taps his wife on the shoulder and he goes, I've just had a really, really silent fart. What should we do? Should we go out? And she said, no, let's go out and change your battery and you urinate. <laughs> I like that. Oh, forget it. Okay. That's a good one. Right, this story. The story goes back to Yardies, where I used to work at Yardies many, 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 many years ago. Don't want to step off the edge here. Really, 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 really many years ago, right? And I was in a loading bay. Well, a loading bay used to be right at the other end of the, of the, of the big industrial, you know, uh, um, what they call the factory. Right at, right at the end, right, you know? So, <laughs> it, when, when tea time came, a little trolley used to come around. This lady, this is cut to the end. This little lady used to come along with a tea trolley about three o'clock in the afternoon, whether it's two o'clock, I, I can't remember now. But she always bought cakes and sweets and all that, like, you know, I mean, it was really, really nice. I have a cup of coffee, sit down for a quarter of an hour, yeah. But the trouble is, we, we, by the time she got to us, all the cakes had gone. You know what I'm saying? There's no cakes at all. She was ridiculous, like, you know what I mean? So, I had a word, my dad, right, I've I told you before, he used to be the chef or, or chef or porter, but he was a chef sometimes, in the canteen, like, you know what I mean? What? Stop shouting. Tell the story here, for Christ's sake. <laughs> so, um, shut up, cameraman. So, so, um, so, where was I? Oh, yeah, so, so I said to him, like, you know, but the time you get a bite, I lean her name, was this old bird, I mean, really old cantonous old bitch. But anyway, sorry, I leave this still alive. So, she said, um, she said like, I said, Dad, I don't even get a cake. When I get to the end, he said, I saw it, son. So I said, okay, great. So, <laughs> yeah, I only come down like, you know what I mean? So we all queued up and everybody rushed to get a bit, a bit of cake, like a few cakes left. All the cakes are gone, just a few biscuits and that, you know, it was really, really bad. <laughs> when I got to the queue with a cup of coffee, I said, a cup of coffee, and she went, oh, here's your cake, Steve. She went underneath the trolley and brought out this lovely, two big, thick, green cakes. He gave it to me, and it was nearly a fucking riot. It was nearly a riot, it was unbelievable. And where can I just spray for tears if you can't fucking do this? You know what I mean? So I enjoyed it, but I had a word with the old man afterwards. I said, Dad, you can't do that. I said, there's nearly a riot. We'll do it another way. He went, okay, son, I don't mind. <laughs> It's brilliant. I mean, Dad was always there because it, because he works at Candy. We used to do stock taking and things like that. And when we used to do stock taking, they used to give us a dinner because it used to be at nine o'clock at night, so they give you free dinner and that sort of thing. And previous to sit down, sit down with sausage and mash. I used to sit down with big lumps of steak. <laughs> but that was the old man. He looked after us all. It was really, really good. <laughs> I might share that with you anyway. And I thought the joke was funny, right?